we are going to be tying a Muskegon River Grey Drake spinner. For this fly we are going to use a number 10 two extra long dry fly hook. And let's mount that in our vise. We'll be using a 6 aught black uni thread as our tying thread. We'll be using extra fine gold wire for our ribbing and we're going to be using a uh, black dry fly um, dubbing for the body and the thorax. For the tail any uh, variegated uh, hackle fibers that are stiff uh, about the length of the hook. We're going to start by building a uh, foundation, a thread foundation on the hook. We'll start that right behind the eye. Okay, at this point I'm going to place a couple extra wraps to create kind of a ball back here to help spread the hackle fibers uh, for the tail. I will use about half a dozen fibers for the tail. I'll pull them out perpendicular to the uh, stem of the feather and cut them off. And this should line up the tips. Oops. I want the tail to be about as long as the uh, hook itself. You can see how the fibers have been spread out. Now to tie on our gold wire. Okay, now we can start applying the uh, dubbing. We'll keep the dubbing uh, fairly light. We'll make a thin dubbing noodle because we want the body to be quite thin. Okay, next we're going to wrap our gold wire for the ribbing. About six or seven turns should do it. And let's tie off our ribbing. And we'll uh, break off the wire by uh, bending it back and forth. Next day I will put on the wing. 
and we'll take up its uh, high-vis fibers that we're using for the wing. And there's about how many fibers I pulled out and I'm going to double this to give me the thickness of material that I want for the wing. This will cause the fly to float in the surface film, which is the way the natural floats when they uh, fall to the water. Now you want the wing to be perpendicular to the body of the fly and flat to the water surface. And you can accomplish that with figure eight wraps. And I'm gonna have a few extra wraps in front of the wing and a few in back of the wing. Okay, I'm going to trim this a little bit so it doesn't get in my way, but I'm not cutting it to, full, to uh, its uh, permanent length yet. We'll do that in a little bit. The next thing we want to do is build up the thorax and we will use the same black dubbing as we did for the body. Again, a, a few figure eight wraps around the wing will give us that thorax. Just a little bit more. And now let's finish the fly here with a whip finish. And we'll cut off our tying thread and cut the wings to length. And we want the wings to be about the same length as the body of the fly. And a little bit of head cement. The fire will be complete. And there you are, the Muskegon River Grey Drake. This is a very effective fly where the gray drakes are hatching in uh, late May, early June. If like many of us, your vision isn't what it used to be, and you want to make your fly a little more visible, you can always add a wing. It's somewhat like the stem of a parachute fly on top of the fly in a highly visible color. This was done with high-vis 
the same kind of material as was used for the wings. If you want to make the floatability of your fly a little more durable, you can add a small dab of closed cell foam to the back of the fly as has been done in this case. This fly is practically unsinkable and a bright color makes it more visible in the water.